Welcome back to another video in the series of puppy grooming with Ellie Grace. Today, we're giving Ellie a full haircut. We just did the sanitary trim last week. We're doing a full haircut today. She's just been bathed, brushed, blow dried. You guys have been asking me to do a video. We're gonna give Ellie a complete haircut with the Flash 5 clipper from Kenchi using the guard comb attachments. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go ahead and use the quarter inch to set the pattern. Then I will be doing hand scissoring. Planning to use my Kenchi Sapphire 8 inch curve to do all my outlining, small detailing around the face. I'm gonna use my Jody Murphy outline liner shear. Possibly do a little shape ends. After I've set my outline, I'm going to use the Kenchi Peacock chunker. This is a newer shear to me. I have fallen in love with it, especially on my doodles. You can get these guard combs for the Kenchi Flash 5 Clipper. You can also use your Brevera 5-in-1 guard comb set if that's what you have. It's fine with this clipper. So I did use it for the sanitary trimming, and now I'm going to be using it for the full haircut. So simply slide your guard comb on so the teeth are close to the edge of the blade. I'm going to keep it set to a 30. You could use a 10, 15, or 30, whichever you want. It doesn't matter. So we're setting a schnauzer pattern. She is thoroughly combed and brushed out. You cannot give a dog a haircut without them being freshly bathed, conditioned, brushed, and get a comb completely through the dog's coat. Very important. I'm going to start at the occiput of Ellie's back skull and start coming down in the lay of the coat. So if the coat goes this way, that's the direction I'm clipping. I am setting a schnauzer pattern, so I will need Ellie to stand for that. So I'm gonna come on down, drop off like an airplane scooping off of a runway. We're gonna find her bend of stifle, which is right here. Picture an imaginary line from the shoulder blade down to the bend of stifle, and that's where we're going to be grazing off our schnauzer pattern. And with her being a party color, you can see her party colors almost already show us where to set that pattern. Just dropping off the brisket here at the ribs, making a nice smooth, and this feels good to her. She's so relaxed right now. Sometimes I like to hold this leg back a little so I can be sure to get a nice even pattern set. I'm gonna tilt Ellie's head up just a little so that I can be sure where I'm scooping off here above, above the elbow at the shoulder. Good, Ellie Grace. Good. Okay. And back here, I'm gonna come straight off the tail, hold the tail out. I'm gonna come straight around those corners. She's interested in the hair. I'm going to hold this leg up so she stands still, hold the tail out of the way, and I'm going to come down and scoop off. I can come up in this direction too, at the bend of stifle. We do like this a little tight in this area, so I can do this in reverse just to make it tight means shorter. Tighten it up a little. Just like that. Good Ellie Grace. Keep coming around this side. Find the bend of stifle, which is right here where the back of the knee bends, the knee bends in the back, and that's our imaginary line from the shoulder blade to set her pattern. And I'm scooping off, see that? So that I'm blending that pattern work above the shoulder. Good, Ellie, good. And she's still a puppy, she's 11 weeks old, so we take our time. We make this a nice experience. She's going to learn that grooming is just part of her life and she's gonna to learn to like it. She really will, I promise. In fact, she already is. I can honestly tell you that. She is already learning to like the grooming process. Good, Ellie. As long as you are using proper techniques and methods and the right tools that are not gonna hurt your dog, your dog will enjoy this and they also know they're pleasing you. So, of course, that's something that they love to do. Good, Ellie. I'm just smoothing down that pattern set a little bit. Now, here in the front, we're going to come in reverse in the direction of this. Dogs have two calyx right here. That's where this hair grows this way and this hair grows that way. 
So in this little U shape here, I will go in reverse direction to make that tight, which will also accentuate her throat. Because schnauzers, we want, to, we want this muzzle to pop. We're going to gently, with hardly any pressure, scoop off right under the jawline. The rest is going to be muzzle, beard. But by taking that calic in reverse, it, it clips it much nicer. And then the rest, we're going to go in the direction of the lay of the coat. Good job, Ellie. We're still leaving these ears fuzzy. We're not ready to trim them off. They're too cute. She's a puppy. We want to keep her ears fuzzy. We just like it. It's one of those characteristics that says, I'm still a puppy, and we like it. She's only 11 weeks old. Good, Ellie Grace. And you do have to have a good grip on your dog for their safety. Not a death grip, a secure grip, so that you're sure you're not going to catch anything in the clipper that you don't want to. And then for the top of Ellie's head, I'm going to gently come in reverse. I'm lifting the hair. I'm, I'm not really putting a lot of pressure. I just want to be sure that I accurately trim the top of her head. I am going to be doing a lot of this with blending shears, so just stay put for that. And then we can go back in the direction to blend it together. For her little cheek, I'm just going to come straight up the side and, and Scoop it off right at her skull line right there on the side of her side skull. I'm just taking some of this bulk off to set her little schnauzer beard. And by having a good grip on your dog, lets them know that you got this. They need to know that. So, you know, I couldn't be trimming her if I wasn't sure that I had a good grip on Ellie. For a schnauzer, we come down in like an A shape. So where we scooped off at the shoulder, we're gonna start higher and blend down like this. Kinda hard to see on a puppy, but we're starting to set that for her. That's what we're doing. We're setting that pattern. And you can see where those little calyx are. We may need to get in there a little more. Good job, Ellie. They can be a little hard to um, trim, really. So I trimmed right under her jaw. The rest is going to be muzzle. Good, Ellie. So that's our pattern set. Now for the scissor finish work. Let's start with Ellie's head. The first thing I'm going to do, good Ellie, is comb everything forward and I'm just going to trim right in front of her eyes and in the middle here at the stop. This is when she grows I will probably be using a 10 blade here or a 7 blade but right now she's little and I'm just gonna shape it in with my blending shears. Good Ellie Grace. Always use your comb. I'm just gonna tone that down to match this black side. You see how this one was more full? I'm gonna make it match. Use your comb. We're just trimming right in the corner of the eyes where they collect the eye buildup. You could let that grow out. It will take a little while, but it's worth it. Um, and once it grows down, it just lays down. Right between the stop means from the corner of the eye to the corner of the eye, right between her nose. The width of her nose. That's setting her eyebrow shape. I'm going to lift the hair. And I'm going to scissor this pretty short and tight right to her side skull with my blending shears. I didn't come into the top skull yet. Moving your shears slowly up and down. And we are now making this a much tighter cheek. We didn't do this the last time we trimmed Ellie, but we are now doing it, so we are really going to see this schnauzer muzzle pop out. Good Ellie Grace. Lay this ear back, fold it inside out. You could use a straight shear in here if you want to. She's quite comfortable with me using blenders. Good girl, baby. We're just cleaning everything up in front of the ear. Good, Ellie Grace. OK, 
careful, very controlled, never rush. Good, Ellie Grace. And now that took care of the cheeks and setting the middle of the eyebrow. Get some of that hair away from your nose, honey. Now I'm going to fix the top skull. Now in schnauzers, we want to see two eyebrows. So I am going to trim this away up top. The eyebrows start at the squishy spot. So I'm going to come forward, trimming that off with my blending shear, creating an eyebrow. As she grows older, we will probably be using a clipper blade to do this. But she has such fine puppy hair right now, I feel I have more control over it by using my blending shear but we really just popped out those eyebrows. And now that we popped them out, we are going to use a straight shear and really set them. I can pull her skin with my thumb, so I'm sure what I'm trimming going to leave those pretty little ears fluffy. I'm all but done with the eyebrows. I'm going to go from the corner of her nose to the corner of her eye and that is the angle. And as you saw, I can barely take anything. We're creating the eyebrows as she grows. Put my thumb down to hold my shear still. There's not a lot I can take off. We're just creating the shape of her eyebrow. We're working on it. I'm going to outline her ears a little bit with my blending shear, still letting them look fuzzy and fluffy, but toning it down a little bit. That's all. The rest I'm gonna just let full and fluffy for a while while she's a puppy. We, we may decide we always like her ears like this. I don't know what we're gonna decide, but whatever we decide, you guys will see because we'll make it into a video. As she's growing, we are going to do a lot of filming with Ellie. So you can see the transformation from puppy to adult. Good girl. Now we're gonna take a look at her muzzle. As soon as I'm sure I like the top of the head. Oh, Ellie, you're so pretty. We're still growing her muzzle. It's still pretty short. So I'm gonna comb it all out and up straight. We blow dried it straight. And all I'm gonna be doing is creating kind of a, an even shape. I don't wanna come in here too hard. I want it to keep growing. But while it's growing, I want it to look nice. So I'm trying to even out the shape, that's all. Good Ellie Grace, matching this side to this side. Good girl, Ellie. She is becoming very accustomed to grooming and she's totally fine with it. Because Ellie has these awesome little panda patches, these little black patches, I want them to look the same. That way when we're looking at Ellie, it doesn't throw us off because she's a party color. So I just wanna make sure they look the same so that she doesn't, if not, she would look a little off balance, you know? It would look like something's wrong with Ellie's design and there is nothing wrong with Ellie's design. I'm gonna hold the ear flat, lift this hair up with my comb so I know where it is and I'm gonna gently come in here and blend it off so that we see these fluffy ears pop and then we see it go right into a tight neck into a pattern set. Very careful control, know what you're doing. If you're not comfortable with blending shears, you could use your guard combs here and on most of this groom. You really gotta be very comfortable. Practice using your blending shears so that you know you have control over them. 
It's very important. And Ellie, I know you're tired. So now lifting her up, I'm gonna comb everything forward. I'm gonna comb this up a little. I'm gonna see how it's gonna lay. And this to me looks a little more full over here, so I'm gonna blend it down a little just to give it a softer look. Under here, things are like she's falling asleep. <laughs> oh my God, now all I'm doing is softening and nipping the ends to soften the look. Oh, Ellie, you're going again. I can feel her falling asleep. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this poor puppy. Now we wanna take a look from the side. How's it looking? Good, don't give me that side eye look. You gave me the side eye look, didn't you? Looking at that from the side, I can see. A little more work I have to do. Now I've looked at her from all angles and I know that she looks pretty well balanced. Let me see Ellie Grace. Good job move around to her outline here for her tail I'm gonna hold it and flatten it out and I'm gonna feel where that tail skin is and I'm just gonna edge it with my blending shears I have see how I have her tail between my finger and my thumb flatten out the tail so it pushes the hair out <laughs> I know <laughs> she's like no pushes the hair out I know exactly what I'm trimming and because she was bathed, blow-dried condition, her hair is straightened out for me. Um, this is a very accurate trim. So this is, I couldn't wait for this one. This is the first time I was able to do this with Ellie. The last time I hadn't bathed her. And here I'm just going to tidy all this up with blending shears. We want this pretty short, pretty tight right there on the back of the, the thigh there. Use your thumb and finger to pull that hair out. Move that skin around so you're sure what you're doing. Good, Ellie. We're just making it look real tidy. Good, Ellie Grace. Oh, she's falling asleep again. I can feel her falling. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Ellie, you're worrying me. I know. <laughs> she really does like the sound of scissors. I think it relaxes her. Mm -hmm. I'm just blending down that line. She is asleep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Ellie. I know you need lots of naps. For uh, this pattern here, I'm still using those Jody Murphy shears. I'm just blending a little, thinning that down a little bit so it drops off her brisket, hangs out underneath her. Okay, girl. We're still letting that kind of fill in and stuff. Here above her shoulder, I'm gonna comb that up. I'm just gonna scissor and blend down from her shoulder. Straight shear to set a very accurate line. Good. Blend that on the angle of the lay of the coat, right at the brisket, and down underneath her, and sort of angling, rounding that in a little bit. I'm gonna tidy that up so you don't see all these harsh markings where her party colors are. Good, Ellie Grace. Be careful in here, the, the flank skin is there. You have to know where everything is. You really have to know the anatomy of dogs when you're using shears. The shoulder here. Down into the leg. We were blending her outline. That's what we're doing here. And now before she falls asleep, I'm going to trim her feet and we're letting her legs fill in. So I will just kind of outline them here in a minute with that blender. So I want her foot on the table. We've already cleaned out her paw pads. Find the front of her toe and I'm gonna come straight across. I'm gonna round the corner there. 
exact same thing here. The shears are on a little bit of an angle. Pick up the foot, comb it down. All the way around. Just making a round puffy foot. Use your comb several times because hair will keep popping out. Foot down. Good Ellie Grace. Round those corners. And you want the foot to be as wide as the leg hair. That's the shape. It's okay. I know it tickles. It does tickle. It comes straight down the leg. I don't need to take much. I'm just shaping. I don't have her on a loop, but I'm kind of teaching her how to be groomed without a loop. And I think we will get there pretty quickly. She's already doing so well. Pick this foot up so you can see a little better. Hi Ellie. Good girl. Good girl. You cutie, oh my gosh, you're so cute. Stand? Good, Ellie. Good stand, yes. Okay. And you do have to help your puppies a lot, you know? You have to hold them up. Right now, oh, that looks a little weird. Now I'm going to kind of comb everything out and up, and I'm going to use these peacock chunkers. I'm going to try it on her. I'm not sure what I'm going to think. They're, they're kind of an aggressive shear. They take a lot of hair. So I'm just softening her outline with them. Trying to not be in the way of the camera at the same time. So you see where she has this party color, this black, and then she has white hair underneath that. If I kind of remove a lot of that, I'll be able to see more of the white. So that's what I'm going to do. Believe it or not, it's going to change her look a little bit. So I'm just going to gently blend that with these blenders. It should give more of a See, that, that made that look much better. Mm -hmm. And that we see that a lot with party dogs and with, now watch what I'm gonna do here. The hair is actually hanging over the white. So I'm gonna gently kind of blend that black hair off so we don't see that it doesn't obstruct our little white hair there. And it just sort of helps when you're looking at the dog. It just looks, it just looks a little nicer. It doesn't look um, like, you know, you made mistakes when you were drawing a picture or something, you know, it just kind of ties it together better. Especially when you have party colors and you'll see that a lot with Cocker Spaniels. Our party colors are black and tans or whatever. So I'm just tidying up. We'll comb it out, shake it out a little, so see how it falls. Good, Ellie. She's getting tired. <laughs> She's not getting tired. She uh, is tired. <laughs> I know. She is. And we're going to do the same thing here on this black. I'm going to tone it down a little bit. So we see more of the white and we just see the line of the black like that. It just makes her party colors look nicer, I think. Sometimes you have to do that with uh, party colors because the colors lay on top of each other and it just kind of looks a little obstructive, you know. So see, that just kind of made her look like she has a little bit of a saddle there. 
Okay, calm that stuff around. Let's take a look. We're just softening the outline with these chunker shears. You want your legs to both match. Comb things out. From the elbow straight down. Good, Ellie. On all four sides. I like my blueprint on all four sides. I'm shaking the hair so it falls out when I'm shaking her leg. Puppies are a handful. And you need to just keep moving with them, you know? Keep moving. Good job. I know you're tired, honey. I know you're tired. You're a good girl. Yeah, you look so pretty. You look so pretty. This is what she wouldn't let me do a second ago. Now I can do it. Good job, Ellie Grace. Good job, Ellie Grace. I love the fluffy ears. That's so cute. Look and see if we need to soften anything on that face. The face is always the first thing we look at. Good job, Ellie Grace. And I think we have a schnauzer. You really do want them kind of looking up, especially when you're setting the underline. When they're looking down, it'll change the shape of your underline that you're setting. Wow, her black just pops. It looks so nice. I'm going to make that pop just a little more. Let's check these back legs. I can see this is a bit uneven here as compared to the other side. And I'm going to come make my lines a little straighter on the inside of these legs. Good, Ellie Grace. Okay, just a second, Ellie Grace. I know, I'm the big bad groomer. Big bad groomer, yeah. And. messy stuff back there. Just shaping it, rounding it up a little bit. Good job. Now I can gently, very careful, and precise if you're new or beginner don't pick the foot up do everything with the foot standing down it's easy to nick a dog's pad we're coming to the tail end of this and she's had enough it's okay baby I know I know she looks good to look at her from the front and make sure everything's even. Oh, so cute, Ellie Grace. So cute, Ellie Grace. Yes, you're adorable. Yeah, yes, you are. Oh, look at Ellie Grace. You'll have to come back now, you hear? See my next video. We might change my trim in the next video. Maybe we'll get rid of these fluffy puppy ears. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll decide we want to grow her furnishings longer. Maybe we won't. You'll have to come back in the next video and find out. Thanks for watching.